In this lesson, we're going to learn about the Aside element, a new element in HTML5 for creating a sidebar-like piece of content. So I'm in my favorite HTML editor. I happen to be using Dreamweaver, and I've opened the Chapter 4 lessons, and I have two files open, index.html and noaside.html. So in the one called index, which is our home page, I just want to show you when I previewed it, this is what it looks like. It's got that sidebar in it that is using the aside element. We're going to go to the other file called no aside and we're going to add that content in. So the first thing you want to do is open a text program like Word or I'm on a Mac, I'm using text edit and open from the chapter four lessons, open the file called aside. It's just simply a text file and copy all of that text. So I'm selecting it and I'm using my keyboard shortcut. I'm on a Mac. Command C to copy on a Mac, Control C to copy on Windows. And then I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver and I'm going to the file called No Aside. And I'm looking over here in my line count and I'm going to the line 26 in that file. And right after the close header tag, I'm going to paste that content. So what it is, is it actually has, I pasted it in here and I'll show you what it is. It actually has the, um, the sidebar element already created for you so you don't have to go in and create it. So I'm going to go in here and search for a side in my source code and show you that what it did, so this is where the last tag was before we pasted in. So it's gone in here and added all this content for you automatically. So I'm using a tag called the aside tag and it automatically is going to put the text in that sidebar category. And then when I'm finished, I've got the close aside. So I've gone in here and already put in all the information you need. It's got a header using the H3 tag. It's got an image, it happens to be my picture. You can obviously replace it with your own. Put in the correct width and height and then enter the information you want to be in the sidebar. And all the formatting is handled by the CSS. So I'm going to go in here and save this file and then preview it in my browser. And there you can see exactly what it looks like. So just to show you what it looked like before without having that sidebar on it, this is what it looked like before. This is what the original file looked like, the no aside file. And then after we add it, this is what it looks like. So it pushes it over to the left. These two uh, posting columns go to the right and we have a nice little sidebar and that was created using the aside element.